and this is going to be the i think third video for now but it should be a part of this playlist new laptop setup by making tech friendly that is my channel okay anyway so uh, this is the first that you should have done this is very critical video bias video only after these two and after you have set up the non-english character for username you should watch this video okay don't skip it don't watch it directly these are part of a playlist the playlist is on the home page of both the channels indian channel and this channel you can see it's literally here so don't comment and ask me where is the channel link. anyways point is pointed let's not get walked away uh what was this video about the video is about when you get your new laptop turn it only when plugged in that i already talked in the previous video never ignore battery critical warnings okay this video is kind of linked with what i talked in this video okay it is kind of linked with that and okay let's say so to actually you know watch that video first where is okay it? here is it okay so as you see what we talked about that you should only turn when it this than and the reason for this is this and this and this and this and that everything in that video so after that you should know that you should never ignore battery critical warning okay first point is don't play games on battery i think that should be point blank clear even if you are getting getting a gaming laptop you can't play games on battery a gaming laptop is not optimized for you to run games on your battery it's not like your pc machine that can be run on inverter power it's not like that okay whenever something goes in the battery profile mode everything i mean everything you know hard locks to conserve battery by default you will do have to do quite a lot of things to get the same type of performance on battery and which won't last long half an hour one hour maybe and then you will be you know it's it doesn't matter you shouldn't play games on battery simple as that okay i thought some people need to know this and i thought i should write this in accordance this with this you should never ignore battery critical warnings so when you get that battery critical warning only 10 percent is remaining plug in your charger don't let it fall below that when it says seven percent or depending on your laptop's battery settings where is it okay so you can see the critical battery level okay it says five percent i would suggest you to increase it to seven percent okay you need to have that little bit of bad power in your laptop you need to have it low battery level you get a 10 percent critical battery action is hibernate that's all fine low battery notification sure low battery action reserve battery level is seven percent okay i would probably do it like nine percent okay you do not need to do these settings okay you do not need to do these setting what i am doing here i'm just doing it you know just to make sure that the thing that i'm about to tell you doesn't happen to me anyways never ignore battery critical warnings okay in accordance with the last video now we are going to talk about a story of someone let's keep him anonymous for now okay he got his laptop okay uh, since he didn't get it from me he didn't even know that there is a laptop setup thing that you have to do okay he didn't do any of these he didn't do any of these and i think i am half to blame also because i never made a video like this that you are seeing anyways he got a laptop okay he got a laptop and he immediately started playing games he charged the laptop once completely downloaded Valorant, unplugged the charger and kept playing games until the laptop completely died down it kept showing him critical warnings it kept showing him that battery is about to die he let it die down anyways at about zero percent so he completely completely discharged the battery okay and ignored all the battery warning now after this we are not sure if he did this or not but we are quite certain that he did when the laptop died basically the laptop's battery died. the laptop when the laptop's 
battery died okay uh, so what did this did this this uh, made the battery completely empty so that's what that did that little stunt completely uh yeah would drain his battery of any percentage then he plugged in the charger okay and he pressed the power button it wouldn't boot up the reason for that is if if your battery uh, of any device completely dies it requires a minimum level of charge before it will turn on so don't spam don't keep pressing the power button trying forcing to turn on okay you never do that that percentage on many devices can be one percent can be half a percent can be five percent can be 10 percent you do not know you do not know the laptops power management will prioritize charging the dead battery to at least a usable state before it can be turned on and in gaming laptops in gaming laptops this percentage is quite high okay in gaming laptops this percentage is quite high because 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 depending on the model configuration and how much you have overclocked your system it might take some battery power from your battery okay it might take some power from your battery too even when it is ac charged this is this is what happens when someone gets a lower adapter charger with their laptop like like let's say the cpu gpu combo requires 160 watt and only get a 135 watt charger so the battery has to keep up you know so the uh, yeah the battery has to keep up yeah that is the, that's my point anyways so the thing is if your battery of any device completely dies doesn't matter what the device is it requires a minimum level of charge before it will turn off so don't keep pressing the power button to force it on okay now that up to here it might still have been it might still have been fine but what happened was which we are you know after all now we are going in a another territory we are just trying to you know assume a bit what actually happened so yeah this most likely while he was playing the game windows being windows it started an update in the background since the laptop was new since it didn't give the laptop a few days time as i said in this video okay that you for the first week disable and never force close your system as i said in this video that until the bios update is completed do not do anything extra anyways so yeah so that most likely this is what we are speculating it halted the windows critical update which might also have included bios update since it is part of the vantage vantage is uh, laptops software driver delivery system okay like this hard laptop and you can turn on that was what this video was about story okay one person played gaming on the laptop and it was on battery ignored all battery while the laptop's battery died he kept pressing the power button on the critical probably answered about this this most likely halted windows critical this is what we are speculating that is what might have happened because what happened later was his laptop completely died no matter what he did how much charge he put in the laptop how many times he left the laptop to turn on it wouldn't turn on most likely some power failure in the motherboard or as you know as i said in the last video you never touch your laptop when it is updating its bios when it's updating a critical windows update which might look like a normal windows update to you it might just say oh windows is updating 
but it doesn't tell you i know this is a fault with windows but it doesn't tell you that that update might be something very critical i think linus made a video on this i think he made a video on this with that this video is closed complete again this is not one video this video is part of a series okay please watch them accordingly this is the series please watch them accordingly okay and I I will also link it in the playlist new laptop setup playlist okay with that this video ends and we will see you next time